I'm joined by Chema Alonso, who is the Chief Data Officer at Telefonica. Later on, he will be giving a talk to us. Thank you very much for joining us, Chema. A pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. So tell us about your presence here. What are you going to be telling us? Well, I'm going to talk about security, but today I'm going to, to focus on a different angle because when I've been talking about security and when we attend talks about cybersecurity, we uh, tend to talk about SQL injection bugs, hacking vulnerabilities, something which is very, uh, very hard for the company to manage. But today I'm going to talk about that small pieces of weaknesses, not vulnerability, weaknesses that allowed people to collect data from your, from your customer, collect data from your user, which is very dangerous in the world that we have today, in which we've seen companies collecting data all around the, around the world to create profiles about everyone on the internet. And today I think that is, uh, we are in a new era. We are in a new area in which privacy is in the core of all the technologies that we are creating and we need to focus in, in create technology that is very carefully, is very cautious about how to manage the information that it collects. So I'm going to talk about how bad guys, not hackers, because hackers are good people, I'm going to talk about how bad guys can collect data from uh, applications on the internet just using small tricks or weaknesses that allows them to know exactly what is your device or what is your email address or what is your phone number or uh, if you have an account in a specific service or not. It's different from vulnerabilities. I'm going to talk more about weaknesses, but I think that is more important today than before. You mentioned bad guys, good guys. You say hackers are not bad guys, they're good guys. What is the definition of a bad guy? And Talking about data collection and privacy, etc., since the uh, news of Cambridge Analytica and Facebook and all of this came out, how does that change the dynamic of things now? Well, first of all, for us hackers, are not cyber criminals, are not bad guys. Uh, I would like to think that I'm still a hacker because for us, a hacker is something very good. And hackers are people that are pushing the technology, pushing the limit of technologies to something completely new. They are discovering the vulnerabilities, they are discovering the corners of the every piece of technology and creating something new. So for us, it's, it's very important uh, working with hackers and you can go to a lot of conferences and enjoy uh, uh, with the talks of the, uh, of the hackers, with the research they are doing on the internet. Bad guys are cyber criminals and people that are using technology not for the, the, the best for you. And you were talking about Cambridge Analytica, which is a, a good example about the new world. In it, a company was collecting data, using different sources, social network, uh, web services on the internet, etc., to create profiles, and they were selling that profiles to do something which is very bad for us, very bad for human beings. They were uh, changing the way they uh, people. Uh, was voting on elections and they were changing the history of human being and something that at the beginning was completely unclear like having Donald Trump as president or uh, the Brexit today is a reality and there are a lot of uh, research that says that fake news were using plus that profiles created uh, uh, using big data techniques to do that so we need to take a lot of care about the data we are collecting in our web application and we need to create a new a new kind of uh, web application that ha ha has privacy, uh, security and ethic in the middle. These three pillars were mentioned this morning in a presentation by Microsoft, privacy, security and ethics. Now ethics is a big word that people are throwing around, ethical hacker, ethics behind the data collection, etc. What is ethics to you as a, as a hacker and a CDO? Well, I just to, to have a very positive view about technology. And, and I think that uh, we need to create technology for the best of human beings, for the best of societies. If we are using technology not for the best of human beings, not for the best of societies, we are not being ethics. That for me, uh, which means ethic. And we need to, to put that in the middle of everything that we are creating, because if not, we are on the wrong direction. So in, in terms of uh, security and with what you'll be talking about today in terms of .NET, what, what's the relation with, uh, what you'll be with what you'll be presenting? Well, 
Last year, I was, last year, two years uh, ago, when we did the last .NET here in Madrid, I was talking about security vulnerabilities that affect only to .NET web application. But today, I'm going to talk about vulnerabilities that affect all web application. We are going to do it here in, in a .NET conference, but everything that I'm going to talk about affect for equal to all different web applications. So I think that is good for uh, web developers. It doesn't matter uh, if you are using one technology or other technology that you take into account that kind of weaknesses that allows bad guys to collect data from your web application. Thank you, Chemo Alonso. We're looking forward to it. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.